Virginie Dupont makes France angry, but things are changing. To view the full article, click the first link in the description below. Paris nearly three decades into her career, the feminist French author and filmmaker Virginie Dupont still has a way of riling people up right across the political spectrum. While her views have long been unpalatable to social conservatives, her support for prostitution and pornography have gone a step too far for many on the left, too. In early June, an open letter addressed to her white friends, in support of anti-racism protests in France, prompted some activists of color to accuse her of divisiveness. Some critics said that in adopting the language of structural racism and white privilege, Depont was importing American ideas unsuited to describing France's situation. But Depont doesn't mind the pushback. I've been comparing it to the hashtag MeToo movement. At the time, I wished more men would have spoken up, she said this month in an interview at her home in Paris. Criticism is normal. If anyone has learned to weather public hostility, it's Depont. For years after her first novel, Rape Me, published in 1993 about two women's murderous road trip, few in the bourgeois world of French literature took her seriously. Her provocative stories made it easy to paint her as an untamable and fond terrible. In 2000, a movie adaptation of Rape Me, co-directed by Depont, stirred a moral panic in France, where it was pulled from mainstream theaters days after its release. It remains banned in some countries, including Australia, for its explicit depiction of sexual violence. To view the full article, click the first link in the description below.